Wednesday. Today is the Monday, the 26th of June already. Wow, that went fast. We are going to be in a printmaker studio today and um, I'm just refreshing my YouTube so we can see each other, see who is here today. Did you guys all have a good weekend? Oops, and I have to turn down the volume there. Um, we had a really great weekend. We celebrated Esty's retirement. And I'm just going to move my light slightly and see that there is like quite a big car shadow. Maybe I can use move my screen. Um, we had a Patreon meet yesterday where we drew... The prompt was prayer, and we drew houses of prayer. Maybe that's a little bit better. Um, what else did we do? My daughter was home, so that was really lovely. Had some time with her. Um, and it rained a lot, and it's storming right now, so hopefully my internet doesn't just disappear. Is it seven o'clock? It is seven o'clock. All right, let me see. I'm just going to lock my screen. It's Monday and I added a whole bunch of images. Bonjour, Alessandra. How are you? Good morning. Um, I added a few images of printmakers. This I love this image. Looks like a beautiful studio. Good morning, Sarah. Hi, Janan. Back from travels. I hope you had a lovely time with your dad. Um, hi, Janice. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Alexandra says lots of rain by us as well. Yeah, lots of rain. It's good. We need the rain. So this is one image and then... Oh, it doesn't just go to the next one. This is another one. And so I have a few different ones. I didn't know if you wanted to do some printmaking or just draw some hands in printmaking. This one I thought was printmaking. Um, so I'm not sure if they are actually making... I think they are printing onto, um, they're making like prints of engravings. It's almost like a little, a little plaque. Um, and then there's this one. All right. So I thought we could get started with some quick hand sketches. Um, Meryl says draw. Oh, she wants to draw and not print. Okay. <laughs> Janan says we sure did. Second half of the trip was going through mum's things. That's not easy. Happy and sad tears. Yeah, I'm sure that wasn't easy for you. But I'm sure it brought back great memories. Hi, Louise. Good morning. You thought today was Baker. Did I get it wrong? Oh my gosh, it is Baker. You are totally right. It's because I didn't do printmaker yesterday, that's why. Ah, uh, thank you, Meryl. Okay, well, we could do a bit of both because we only have, I love that, ba that bakery. Who added this picture? C added this picture. Brick Lane Bakery, that's in England. That is a famous road in, is that in Brixton, Brick Lane? I can't remember. Isn't Brick Lane where the, the, um, the Beatles, um, live? Or isn't there a song with Brick Lane? You added some as well? Okay. I will refresh and have a look. 
All right, everyone, I have been corrected by Meryl. It is baker today and not printmaker. But if you want to do some extra hand sketches, then you can do that. I'm just refreshing my Padlet and going into June workspaces. If you're watching this and um, you'd like to join our mornings, because we do this Monday to Friday, religiously at 7 a.m. Sometimes we change the time due to appointments. Um, but we have a Padlet where we add images. Ooh, you've added lots. Okay, well, we're doing Baker today then. That's it. You have lots of baking images. Great. Let's start with, um, I want to start with this one if that's okay everybody this is the Beigel Bake Brick Lane Bakery oh it's Penny Lane not Brick Lane <laughs> I think so too Abbey Road oh Alexander says I think you're thinking of Abbey Road and Louise says and the song Penny Lane Okay, well, is Brick Lane in Brixton, Louise? Okay, I'm going to give you a lovely 10 minutes for this one. It's kind of a lengthy, a lengthy warm up. My, my, um, here, I'm going to just move this out and move this down. again that's a funny story but that will be that will be in one of the patreon posts very shortly all right the pictures aren't there for me i've refreshed and restarted any ideas hmm, that's strange because they're there for me and they are there who i want i don't know what you none of them are there janice Well, I'll leave this picture here. If you can see that, then you can draw from this or you can go onto Unsplash and look up Baker and um, I'm sure a lot of images will come up. Okay, I have some water. I have my coffee and let's get started. I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. Sarah, did you get all the information about the um, foundations course. Thank you for signing up. It would be lovely to have you in the class. Okay, I'm going to use my core set and just look at the, um, I'm going to look at the writing first actually. Louise says she thinks so that Brick Lane is in Brixton. I'm not sure though. We I'll have to check afterwards. Louise, are you in London? Why can't I remember where you are? Um, the Henley School of Art has a rather fantastic life drawing model today, if anybody is interested. That is at 2 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to try and get to it. I think I need to do some life drawing um, and just love Joe and the Henley School of Art. So that's at two. I did put a link in my, I put a link in my stories if anybody is interested. Um, 
Sarah says, stayed up way too late watching the first lesson of your amazing class. Such great instruction. Now I have to apply it. Ah, oh, thank you. And Louise says, no, I'm up north in, T in Teesside, not far from Newcastle. Ah, uh, you're in Newquay. Northerners are always the best. And C says, I use both Unsplash and Pixabay, Pixabay for the bakery, Janice. Good morning, Kitty. How are you? We are doing a... <laughs> I got the wrong... The wrong... Uh, the wrong day. I thought it was Sunday. Well, I didn't think it was Sunday, but I thought it was Printmaker, which is... We just didn't... I just didn't do it at the weekend because we did churches or we did prayer. Um, so we are doing bakery or baker. This isn't going to fit in. Why don't I apply what people, I teach people, especially about positioning everything? I'm not sure. This isn't the greatest brush either for this. Um, you have, you have 10 minutes for this, but only seven minutes left. Louise, do you ever come down to London? I want to go and see the um, the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition when I'm in England. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get the telephone number in with this brush. Let me try a different brush for that. Now we got to go around with the line and a little bit off center here. How are we doing for time? You still have five minutes, which is good. <gasps> Can you hear the thunder? We have thunder this morning. Very rarely in my lives have we had thunder in these past five years. Five years? Three years. Three and a half years. I'm just extending it. I'm just extending it to five. It doesn't feel like five. It does feel like three. Louise has not been to London for a long time, but going in August, I'm planning to go to the Royal Academy too, and maybe the Portrait Gallery. Yes, it just reopened. Okay, maybe somebody can help me out. Because I did write to her and ask her. Um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Emin. Tracy Emin posted that she had something to do with the doors opening at the portrait gallery. Um, she put it in her stories the other day, and I asked her what what she did, like what like what she took part in. I knew that there was, it was the opening, but I didn't know, was she opening the gallery? What, did she have an exhibition? Do you know anything about that, Louise? And Louise, I will let you know. Um, I'll message you and tell you when I am going to be going. Because I'm going in August as well. And I want to go to both of those, so. But I'm sure you have an art date planned with people. And I was going to take my mum up, so that would be a little bit of a slower 
a slower pace. How long has the portrait gallery been closed for? Has it been like a year or a couple of years? Can't be that long. Ah, Louise says she has drawn faces for the brass doors. Looks amazing. Oh, I didn't see that. Was it on the news? Because the actual portrait gallery site, I don't know if it's better on the actual website. Maybe I should go on there and have a look. Um, there seemed to be nothing on their actual website. How many minutes do you have left? A minute 41 left, which is quite a long time. You know what I need? It's not really like I need a green that is muted in the neo colors. That would be really, really handy. Get these little tiles in. And I need some darks in there. Some people. Oh no, that's time is up. Time is up, everybody. Your time is up. See, that is too bright, that color. Just want to get a little bit more done in here. Okay. Done, done, done. Good morning, Leslie. How are you? Oh, um, oh, you have an article about the opening. Here's an article. Where did you put the article? I don't see the article. Have you found an article? Can you post it in our group chat? Thank you, Maria. Louise says, I saw them Instagram, I think. Oh, Louise says, I have to go. My eldest son wants some food. <laughs> Enjoy your day, Louise. Web link. Mm, web link. can't see the web link. It's fine. All right, let's get moving on to, there are lots of images on here. Janice, did your images come up? I love this one. 
but I feel like I need to do this one upside down. Anybody with me? I'm going to do this one upside down. I know it's Monday, but I just feel like it. this is definitely an upside down one. Thank you. All right, and I just need to start putting the date on everything because, um, because if not, I forget. And this is bakery or baker. Workspace of a baker. Oh, Janice says, yes, I had to restart my computer. Well, I'm glad it, it worked. All right, everybody, I'm going to give you another five minutes for this one. Um, what is everyone drawing with? I'm going to, I think I'm going to get some uh, gouache out for this one. My messy gouache palette is very messy why do I have I cleaned up my table and I still have a lot of stuff that's just in the way all right I'm going to make sure that I um, pay attention to the white areas and leave those on the page. So I'm going to work negative space and then into, um, did I give you 10 minutes for the first one? It felt like 10 minutes, didn't I? Okay, we'll just do five minutes for this one. And your five minutes were starts now. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to work negative space and then into it. So. I'm going to use my black, which I don't usually use, and just get those negative spaces in. If you haven't tried doing an upside down, I know the majority of you have tried done upside down drawings, but if you haven't, <clears throat> definitely try it because um, I think it's very beneficial. It just helps you not overthink things, which I love. So on his arm, and get that in. His face has like a glow. I think I, I should probably keep it quite um, light and warm to start. This is my older palette and it's very messy and lacking. There's 
not so much yellow in this one. Oops, I forgot about the white hat. I'm going to get his apron on. in this area here. Oops. Didn't mean to go over that part. Remember I was trying to keep all the white areas? Hmm. Sometimes that doesn't always happen. Okay. Let's get some of these um, folds in his shirt underneath there and then also if you look at the top of his hat there's a lot of shadow on one side okay that is your time is up I'm gonna turn it around and see what I can do with it or if I want to do anything with it maybe I'll just leave it like that that was a five minute. Um, it's not exactly the same, but you can see how uh, just trying to cap capture the light and the shape of everything. I think um, I could correct the shoulder a little bit and obviously put a lot more depth into his face. But I'm just going to leave it as a five minute. Uh, and it was upside down and yeah. how did everybody do on that one? Oh, I love this one too I love it because you have the reflection of the building behind and then you have the things in the foreground you have the the um you have the bread in the foreground what is that bread it's like super square i can't read what it says i think it's french is it is french alessandro what is that square bread that they have there can you see that i don't know what that is okay i'm gonna do this one maybe i'll do this one upside down as well Thank you, Alexandra. Um, if, if you can like work like this initially when you're doing a painting, it just makes everything so much faster. And you're not, uh, that's why a lot of my classes, we do this and we do these exercises so that you don't get in your head um, and you start to see, like Alexandra says, light and form. Looks like pandem pandemi. Oh, is that what it looks like it says? Or you know what it is? Oh, because you're a baker. Of course you know what it is. Okay, I'm gonna do this one upside down. Maria the baker and Alessandro the baker. Marielle, good morning, Marielle. Okay, that's a little bit wet. I'm gonna skip a page. Marielle, we just, um, so far we have just done 
we did this one i i got the wrong day i thought it was printmaker but it's not so we did this bakery and then we did a just a five minute upside down image of this guy fold like making some bread I didn't get his hands in but that's okay and then we're gonna do this one which is another upside down one maybe Alexandra knows what that is as well but you're probably right Maria what does me M I E mean is that um, that's not honey is it but that was miel okay ready everybody um, these images are <laughs> Alexander says hey, hey hey very good Maria she's a baker you know that right you guys oh we need to get together and have this um, week-long retreat with everybody and um... oh Maria says it's crustless bread for sandwiches Oh, wow, amazing. But it must have a slight crust on it, doesn't it? Thank you, Marielle. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to give you 10 minutes for this one because I really like this one. Uh, 10 minutes starts now. Still approach it in a loose and um, a light, like, touch like don't think about your don't think about your um your details when you're doing this one They look like gold, those but those loaves upside down. Ah, Alexandra says, Lamier is the white part of the bread. Yes, a pale gold crust. Do you guys ever make that bread? We have two bakers. I'm sure we have more bakers as well, but we have two for sure bakers in the house. And, um... Alexandra and Maria could probably bake all of these. And just putting a little bit of color where the bread is here. Need to get her hand in as well. I'm using a very big brush and this is so that I'm keeping it super loose and not not being too concerned with where things are, what they are, and just getting in the <clears throat> general shapes, etc. Okay, I'm going to take a smaller brush and put some darker areas in. Do this part with a crayon, pencil crayon, or you can use some paint. Um, in today's foundation class, we are we are painting still lifes. Did you guys see the photos? I know you may have seen something similar before in a class that I've done, but um, 
yeah bring some paints with you we're going to be doing some color blocking blocking in proportioning i'm going to keep it nice and loose and have fun with still life And those colors, as you know, are right up my alley. But I did include, I did include a, um, I did include a more muted image, if you are interested in doing that one instead of the bright, brightly one, bright, bright ones. Um, Alexandra says I don't because I tend to be more interested in nutritious bread but if I have a craving for sweet bread I'd rather make a rich bread such as brioche or a chala ah. um, nutritious bread do you mean like more like a sourdough or what would you call a nutritious bread flax like something like that What is the most nutritious bread that you can have? Because I think that there's that um, misconception of bread actually not being very good for you. And it would be interesting to know what you guys think is a nutritious bread. I know that my sister, she has sourdough every day. She makes it. lovely thing about doing this upside down is that I know that there are reflections in the window but I'm not focusing on them at all and I'm just looking at um, the colors and shapes that I see in my upside down image and really not paying attention to to um, those details which is good because if not I don't think I would get as much done uh Joanne says cannot wait love still life have to pick up our dogs and may not make the live but we'll absolutely see the replay oh good There's a lot more dark area down here. Um, anything with natural leavening agents such as sourdough and lots of whole grains. That's what Alexandra says. Those are that's a healthy, a healthy bread. Okay, where are we at here? I can lock in here. I don't know if I need to maybe turn it, turn my paper around. I should probably see what time it is as well. The baguettes. 
Was it you, Maria, who said you made a baguette or your goal was to make French baguettes during the pandemic and you made, did you make them every day? Did you make a baguette every day? I'm trying to get as much as I can in with the paintbrush. Oh no, I only have 36 seconds left. Oh well, I'm probably gonna stick to working on this one until the end of the class, but I'll turn it around in a minute. Um, Alexandra says, slow and natural fermentation for the gut and whole grains for fiber and nutrition. Maria says, I did learn to make baguettes. I make them on the weekends. I love that. All right. That is your... That is your 10 minutes and I'm going to keep going because I want to just get in some more um, details and I think I may use Neo Colors on top of this and then I'll turn it around and you'll see, see what it looks like um, around the other way. There's a green stripe from the edge of the glass. And it also comes up here. I'm not sure if it's dry enough to put it on top, but we'll see. No, not quite dry enough, so I'll come back to that. Uh, over here, I think I can just extend this loaf slightly. A lot of pink reflections. This is where the new colors come in really handy because um, just to go over gouache and put these like flecks of color in is I really like it. There's reflection on the window. side of the hat is much darker. bit of yellow on to make these loaves a little bit more golden on the top here 
and I can darken just underneath this loaf make it a little bit more square I'm gonna push back some of these um, shadows with a blue. We still have 15 minutes. We get time to do another one maybe. That would be great. This is not very straight, this area, but I don't, really, I don't think I need to worry too much about that. See if I can put this in now. See how you just need a little bit of patience and then you can get that. That's the um, the glass shelf. Okay, I'm going to turn it right side up. Jenna says, I made baguettes and deep dish, di deep dish pizza during the pandemic, but had to stop because the scale was beginning to groan. <laughs> Funny. All right. Here is the piece. So <clears throat> there are certain things now that I can correct. Like little things, if you want to put details, for example, on the side of her here. And I can see that there is an arm here, so I can put that there. Um, the bread, I should probably adjust. And her arm here. And just shape it back slightly. Um, mine isn't looking, she's not looking down as much as the girl in the photo. You can adjust the side of her head slightly. Like I could correct this if I wanted to. What I could do is take my, take the white and see if that would do it and just run it down just to correct the straight area here. I don't know if that really helps or not. I want to darken this side because I don't want this to be the um, place where your eye looks. I want it to be more about her. Do you need like a beige, not a beige, like a light a yellow, but an off yellow. Maybe I can use this color. Oh, that would work. That dulls it slightly. this I'm 
Thanks, Steve. I do like working on images like this. It, I think, um, really, like it was when we were doing the the um, nocturnal month two years ago that I found my love for just a whole scene and rather than just focusing on the person trying to include everything. Make this slightly darker here. reflections in. A lot of it is about that um, things that you can see from the outside that are just reflecting on top. It, it's like water and a reflection of water on the pond. I love the nocturnal too. Yes, Alexandra says, reminds me of our November night scenes. Um, yeah, Posca would be great too. Leslie says, sorry, got cold away. And when I returned, all these gorgeous scenes appeared. They are making me hungry. <laughs> yeah, hungry for bread. All right, well, I don't think I'm going to do another one. I think I'm good to stop with this one. I do love this blue. I think we use it a little bit too much. Oh, I don't even need the ear on that side because you don't see it. Okay. Thank you all for joining this morning. I hope you have a really good day. I will see some of you in a couple of hours. And um, you can still join if you want to. Did I do this one upside down? I did do. It's My book is everywhere. I just did a little video for um, patrons and Substack subscribers of a couple of sketchbooks that I haven't done a sketchbook tour of so and you'll see there's a lot of practice imagery this one may be nice to finish and then this one is upside down again but we can put the date on whoops six twenty three and it was upside down Um, I was using Neo Colors, but first I just did an upside down of um, with gouache. Yeah, so I was using gouache and Neo Colors, and just keeping it super super loose. Yeah, 
And I must have very warm hands because my Neo colors, they get very melty in my hand. Um, but it could also be because I don't have, I don't have them in their full length because they break. But that's okay. And I'm getting used to the colors. You are welcome. <clears throat> um, tomorrow is gallery and I think there are some images up there. Patricia, if you're listening, I know that you have a lot of images of galleries. I think I have, oh, I have a really good one. When Christina and I went to, um, I think we've done it as well before, but I, I think I'm gonna add it again. When Christina and I went to the AGO, there was this couple sitting down just kind of resting or looking at a piece and the light was really nice on them so I, I'm, I'm gonna add that one as well so if you have any images of galleries or you being in a gallery or um, please add them to the Padlet for tomorrow morning and I will see you tomorrow some of you I will see you in a couple of hours have a really good day oh and by the way um, I have added all the virtual art retreats that I've done in the past, that I've taught in the past year, Patreons, I will be sending you coupon codes for um, for these virtual art retreats if you would like to do some that you have missed. Um, they will give you a 20% off coupon, so wait to get that coupon before you purchase them. And um, then you'll have a class for the summer. And I will be also posting workshops. If you've missed any workshops, they will also be posted on my website, hopefully by the end of today. It takes a long time, it's a long process. Thank you everybody, have a good day, bye.